All right, welcome back to part three, and hopefully this is the last one. Spent like over ten thousand dollars on movies. <laughs> um, Widows, um, good movie. You you can kind of see what how the end, how the movie was gonna end. Obviously, like you can see what the movie was, but um, it's okay. Quality decent wasn't gold or nothing like that standard 4k transfer um that's about it he's funny though i like him i like him as an actor he needs to have more solo solo movies except for that one movie um next movie is unseen unsane sorry it was um shot on an iphone 7 camera and don't expect much. It's a phone camera, so don't expect much from it, as in quality. But it did. The movie was awesome, though. I did like the movie. It was shocking. It just. It was just a complete. It just blew my mind how I know, like how this world operates when it comes to certain things, like psych. psych, psych how do you say the word? When you're crazy, psych, psychiatric. I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. It's one of those movies. Like you don't you don't know how people minds work until you watch this movie right here and what the government and stuff is doing to I don't want to spoil it too much. Just watch it. But don't expect much from the quality. Mary Poppins haven't watched it yet. Haven't even watched the first one, but my wife told me to pick it up. She said pick it up now. So I had no choice but to pick it up. And I'm just gonna add it to my Adobe um to my to my Disney collection. I have a lot of Disney collection. Disney's really putting stuff out this year. Um, Little Mermaid paid a pin a pretty penny for this thing right here. Wasn't expecting to pay that much for me, but I haven't um watched it yet. I have like two two of these copies in Blu-ray, not the same one, but the other ones that they made before. But like I said again, like I said before, I'm a collector and that's what I do. Next movie is The Alien. I already have this on Blu-ray. I heard that this thing looks crystal clear. And I'm excited to watch this. Love the movie. And I'll be upset, highly upset, if they come out with a box set in 4K. I'm praying not. Because I kind of do research before I buy certain movies. And those movies are kind of cheap anyway. They're not really that expensive. I think it's 20 bucks, And this is 15 bucks right here. So... You can't really go wrong. I just on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray is friggin' reference quality. So I know this is reference quality on with on top of what the HDR is gonna offer. So this movie is kind of a slow burner, but it gets a little interesting at the end. Um, if you into like sci-fi stuff, not really sci-fi, but like what what genre should I put this in? Suspense, suspense. I put it in the suspense um genre. If you're in suspense, you might want to watch this. It's not really a horror movie or a scary movie like that, even though it might portray a scary horror movie, but it's not really that scary. Got you a little thinking though. But um, yeah, this is reference quality on Blu-ray, so goddamn I know this is this is reference on this. If they mess up the transfer somehow, I'm gonna be upset. Alright, so the most expensive movies that I purchased this year are these three movies. Civil War, Winter Soldier, and The First Avenger. These bad boys right here are friggin' $35, man. Like, what the hell? I already have them on Blu-ray. Why are you charging so much? And I heard that the transfer is not very good. I heard that this is crap. This transfer is crap. I heard that um, this is not all that good. I heard that this is the best transfer out of all of them. And I kind of um sneaked and watched them on my Plex. And Winter Soldier does look good. So I'm sure on the um on the disc it looks even better. But like I was saying before, man, like $35 for these things? What is Disney what is Disney thinking about right now? This is crazy. But it is what it is. You got to pay the price, you know? You got to pay the price if you want to be a collector. Spent a lot, a lot of money on Blu-rays. Um, Eddie and the Eagle, very touching movie. I dabbled in it a little bit. And it's kind of a heartwarming movie. 
you know, a movie you could watch with your wife if you want to just grab some popcorn and eat with your wife or whatever. I haven't watched it yet. I dabbled in it a little bit, but I haven't sat down and watched it. Um, the transfer of what I watched it on, which is Plex, was was decent. It wasn't much to brag about, but I, ha- I had to get it because it seemed interesting. Glass. Uh, okay. I think I like... Um, what's the name of the movie? Is it? Not Switch. What the hell? It's right here. Split. Yeah, Split. I think I like Split better. As in quality. This one's okay. This one's just like a... This one was too short. And it's like... It, it ended too fast. And it didn't really... I guess you, you should know everything from Unbreakable already. But... I don't know. This kind of... They just rushed it a little bit. And... I didn't really like it that much. To this day, Split is still the best one. A lot of people might debate with Unbreakable. But... I think Split is better. But Transfer was decent. I'm not going to lie. Transfer was decent. Next movie is The King Who Would Be King. The Kid Who Would Be King. Picked it up. Buy one, get one free. It looks like the transfer might be good. Could be wrong. But usually these type of movies, the transfers are usually good. It's HDR 10 plus too. Um... Yeah, so I don't know much about it. I just picked it up. Buy one, get one. Justice League. Again, my coworker, he's a big he's a big DC fan. He told me pick it up. It's a good movie, so that's why I picked it up. I haven't watched it yet. I have all these damn movies and I can't watch them. Last three movies are Man on the Ledge. I have it on Blu-ray. Decent movie. Not expecting much from the quality because, honestly, the quality on the Blu-ray wasn't all that good anyway. But I did like the movie, though. I did like the movie. Um, Next movie is Lord of War. Love this movie. Love this movie. This is the first first time I met um, Jared Leno. Leto. And um, ever since that, I started following him. Because of this movie. This is the only reason why I follow him. Too bad for how his life turned out, though. But um, Love this movie. Not expecting much from the transfer because the blue, it wasn't all that good. And the last movie that I picked up, which is The Lion King. Now, I didn't pick these movies up in order. They all scattered out all about the place. So, whatever pops up in my hand, I just pick up. So, I had this for a while now. Like most of my Disney movies, if it's not Marvel, it's going to stay wrapped until... My my daughter decides that she wants to watch TV and not her tablet. But heard that it's a good a good transfer compared to the other one, the other fifteen thousand ones that they made before this one. But I heard this transfer is good. So um, that's it for now. Obviously, I have more movies that I pick up almost every damn day. Very costly hobby, man. Very costly hobby. I think I'm like one of the only YouTubers that have so much damn Blu-rays, man. That's not sponsored or getting, you know, getting gifted movies and stuff like that. So, um, that's it for now. I'm still in a TV debate because I really want a 4K TV that has Dolby Vision. And right now, I don't know what the hell Sony's doing. I wish Samsung had Dolby Vision because most of my movies are Dolby Vision, so... I wish Samsung had Dolby Vision because I would have picked up the Q9FN already if I knew before. So um, that's basically it for now. And stay tuned for more videos. I'm back for now <laughs> until pills start wearing off. But that's it. And thank you guys for watching. As always, Dirty Sprite out.